Hello there. My name is Sundams Heather and I make dresses. Today, I will be following a pattern from 1992, courtesy of Burda magazine. During the early 90s, gypsy-inspired fashion was a big thing and this volume of Burda celebrates it to the max. I want to make a version of this top. I like the way the collar works with a sleek yoke and voluminous bodice. The balloon sleeves are also really pretty, but I fear my fabric situation won't comply with those. This top is available in three styles. I actually had the green version back in the 90s and I loved it. The off-shoulder shape is a bit of a challenge to wear, so now I want to go with the comfy option. The bodice pattern is really simple, so I won't copy that. The yoke and color, though, I do need. Here's one, I believe, and on the other side, we find the other. I will use a light viscose I unpacked in the striped dress video. I have two meters and I hope it's enough for yoke, color and bodice. Sleeves I'll make from lace, or better yet, steel from another dress. I made this dress a while back and the sleeves feel off somehow. I want to redo them so I'll use the lace sleeves for this project. I will cut the yoke pieces first and then fold my leftovers for the collar. And then I'll cut the yoke pieces from lace as well. This way, the yoke will tie the lace sleeves to the dress. I eyeballed the bodice using as much of the fabric as I could. To be quite honest, it looks a bit on the short side, slightly. Not alarmingly, but the width might add to the shortness. We'll see how this goes. I will start by sewing the collar and both yokes. Bodice pieces together. I cut both on fold to minimize the need for seats. The yoke is open at the front and the collar will continue its lines. I'll sandwich the collar in between viscose and lace. Like so. Once I unfurl everything, the seam will be hidden in between layers, giving me a tidy finish on both sides. I really like the way the yoke looks, but the rest of the dress is giving me serious anxiety. There's just so much of it! To put my mind at ease, I'll set the sleeves at this point. It's an easy task. Just snap right sides together, align seams and search through. The muchness of the dress was actually enhanced by this. Fitting all of this fabric onto the tiny yoke seems like an impossible feat. But a bit of thread is all I really needed. The fabric is light and settles rather easily onto the yoke. The finished seam looks surprisingly tidy and I actually like all the gathers paired with lace and the collar. 
I'll hem the dress real quick and try it on. Just as expected, the dress is delightfully white but hella short. This thing can't be worn without either a skirt underneath or pants. I don't own pants, so that'll be my next project. I love the lace sleeves on this dress, and the collar and the yoke turned out even better than I hoped. This thing doesn't do my shape any favors, but that's easy to fix with a belt, also straight from the 90s. Pop that on there and I have a waist again. Even though this thing is too short, I love it. I'm going to go look at pants patterns now. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all later. Bye!